Oh, the shark baby has such teeth, dear, and it shows them pearly white. Hello, and welcome to today's vlog. Uh, on the 11th of October, I'm going to take a look at today's puzzle. Um, what I wanted to focus on today is difficult clues and, you know, how to, I suppose, extract as much as you can, as much information as you can from the clue in order to arrive at a possible answer. Um, uh, freely admit, there were several uh, phrases and words names in particular in today's puzzle that I was not familiar with and had to rely entirely on the wordplay to, to, to solve. I mean a couple of them I think are bordering on um, you know, really well close to being unfair in the sense that um, whether they're really common knowledge or could be considered to be current common knowledge is, is I think questionable but um, one of the lovely things about the Times puzzle is it does introduce you to new new things and you can uh, you know you can then go away and research them and hopefully they stick in your mind the next time um, so let's start first I mean what I've done is I've filled in the grid as you can see with uh, with what I think is sort of all the reasonable answers um, these were all sort of gettable I mean a couple of difficult ones in there finances wasn't easy um, and let's just take a look and work through before we get to the really uh, exotic ones, let's have a look at a couple of the nice clues and, and the wordplay and talk about how that how that works. So, crafty, can it work at first being in debt? Um, now, what I really liked about this clue was the use of can it work at first um, in the centre. So, the way the clue is working is the definition is crafty. And then can it is being used as a separate sort of subphrase. And if you tell someone to can it, you, you're telling them to shut up. So that's giving us SH. And then we've got to break down the rest of it, we've got work at first being a W, being in debt. And if you're in debt, you're in the red. And sometimes in crosswords, that means you surround something with, with the letters RED. So you can see how we've managed to build up shrewd there for crafty um, from a very nice but tricky piece, a very crafty piece of, um, of wordplay. Now, let's go now to three down, which was um, a nice homophone here. So we've got useful foreign character, and then we've got told, which is telling us that we need, we need something that sounds like a useful foreign character um, to be a race official. So we're looking for a race official and uh, you know if you've got this many letters in the grid hopefully you can you might be able to take a guess at the answer. Um, but my tip for, for this sort of thing when, is when you see foreign character always be thinking of the Greek alphabet um, because you know I don't know, eight times out of ten, it'll be some Greek letter that you're looking for. In this case, we need to we need to familiarity with Kappa, K A P A, in order to give us the homophone C A P E R. And now now you should all get it. Handy Kappa is the answer. Not not easy, not easy that one. It gives us an H in the uh, in one across, and. Um, then four down. I like this clue as well um, because uh, you know I've not seen this this use of the word aerobatics before. So this is aerobatics without the at to give aerobics, um, which are the exercises that we need to solve the clue. So kudos to the setter. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of really nice stuff in this puzzle. And twenty three down. Mark, there's only one time for heart pill. So when I read this, um, I was convinced I was looking for the name of a pill, firstly, or a heart pill. Um, I was actually, it's the, I need to read this the other way around. The, the definition is mark, and then there's only one time for heart pill. means we need a, a six-letter word with two T's in it, two and T being an abbreviation for time, and I need to remove one of those T's. So you have to come up with the fact that a heart pill is a statin, 
you remove the second T and you get the word stain, which is a mark. So again, very inventive um, and a nice piece of wordplay there that helps helps us with the clue. And now even if you waded through all of that, or uh, I didn't mean to include that one, that's actually okay, stole for wrap, uh, that's, that's sort of doable. Um, you're left with these four interlocking words, these five interlocking words, or all of which have their own difficulty about them. Uh, let's have a look at this one first. Opening let letter scandal, as it were, is a gem. Well, the only way I managed to get this was by having these exact letters in the grid and trying to think of gems that would fit. And in the end, I came up with an agate. And then I looked at it for a bit longer and tried to justify why. And, and I'll, I'll explain why. So opening letter scandal it's it's a pun on things like Watergate um, so you know in America especially anything that is a, is a scandal is normally uh, given the, uh, the suffix gate um, and if you had an opening letter scandal it would be you know an A gate so that's what the, the compiler is getting at there um, not easy not easy especially as I doubt many people will have had the opening A from one across. Um, this one wasn't. This one went in re reasonably early, but it wasn't a word I was familiar with. So, ancient scripts inconsistent grammar, finally failing after the greeting. So that is a long clue full of a lot of information, and the way I think that you have a chance to solve it is that it ought to be fairly clear what the definition is because. The, the expression after the greeting at the end probably means we need to, that, that sounds like wordplay, it sounds like we need to put a word for, for a greeting before something else. It doesn't sound like, you know, I mean possibly you could read that as after the, if the was at the start, if you were looking for a greeting, an eight letter greeting there, but nothing, nothing jumps out at you. So once you concluded that that probably wasn't right, you, you, you're looking for an eight-letter ancient script. Now, if you're anything like me, you probably you know, you probably weren't writing that in. I mean, I was thinking papyrus, you know, some form of manuscript, or um, I certainly wasn't getting it at this point. Uh, the way I got it was to look at the word inconsistent, grammar finally failing. Grammar finally that must be the letter R, that's fairly clear. And grammar finally failing sounds like we need to remove an R from something. And because I had these letters in the grid, I thought of the word erratic, and I could see if I took, took an R out of erratic, I would have this uh, ending. I still didn't know the word, but I could think of a short word for a greeting, hi. And hieratic, I presume, is from the same root as hieroglyphs and things like that. So um, uh, this is the name of an ancient script, an ancient form of writing, I presume. Um, again, interesting word, not one I knew. Was able, in the end, to get it from the wordplay. Um, exactly the same with 12 across. Have room next to brother for meditation. So the way, again, hopefully you're reading these clues um, in the correct way here, the word for here implies that it's the start of this clue, that it's wordplay. And if we do something with the wordplay, we're going to end up with we're, we're being given the meditation. The word, you know, so meditation is our definition. Even knowing that, I, I, I'm certainly not familiar with this. So I could see study. Well, that looks like a room, so let's put that in. So, so I need a, uh, a word for brother or an abbreviation for brother, which, which can be BR, and then a word for have here. Well, have, the only three letter word for have I can think of quickly is own. So we get brown study, Pfft, meant nothing to me. 
uh, I've looked it up on the internet now and it you know it is an expression that means sort of you know if you're in reverie if you're daydreaming you're in a you're said to be in a brown study but it's um, it's pretty unusual and even uh, even the great Wikipedia um, is is unsure of its origins and its etymology so yeah not easy I mean the wordplay is nice kind there we, we can get it from the wordplay but um, we come to five down ahead of rival the ways German poet pens start of sonnet in time please well okay um, well, we can we can write in enemy there. That looks like a rival could be an enemy, and you know the, it looks like the start of the clue ahead of rival is saying, okay, we can put put enemy at the end of something, and then we need the ways German poet pen start of sonnet. Well, that looks like wordplay to give, and possibly in time could be wordplay too, if the whole clue meant please could do but not 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 easy at all and the only really w real way to get this is to run through your list of German poets which you know I'm presuming is is not going to be extensive for everyone but Goethe is somebody I am familiar with and I could see how if I if I put him around the edge of s for the start of sonnet I would get you know a couple of words in the middle which which seem to mean something so you're, goes the enemy at the end and then okay the ways the ways are the how so how goes the enemy which is an old expression meaning you know what's the time um because time you know in is often referred to as the enemy uh in, in sort of expressions or certainly old expressions so how go, goes the enemy i i, I I dare you to try that um, outside your local 7-Eleven and see what happens um, when you want to know the time. Uh, not something I was familiar with. Nice to know or learn a new expression. And this is exactly where I ended up with. And I would imagine, um, well, more than 50% of the people who solved this puzzle will have ended up in exactly this position, looking at this clue and wondering what on earth was going on. So, man with knife sharper cutting meat about. Okay, well, I think if you're anything like me, you would have said, okay, well, I can see this looks like it's a word for sharper, whatever that might be, inside a meat reversed. And I could see how ham might be possible. I, I did consider putting the M here, but I couldn't think of an abbre one one letter abbreviation for um, for sharper. So I was pretty sure I was looking for a word that fitted in to this sequence of letters, and I was pretty sure that it was the name of a man with a knife. So I was thinking of an assassin or something like that. Um, although I think there is a word da, D-A, which is some sort of Burmese knife, although I've not seen that used in in the Times very often. So I, I was sort of, you know, I was aware it could be that sort of thing, but it doesn't look likely. Um, well, the only way to get this is to think about a uh, sharper is in a you know, a sharper is somebody who cheats at cards. Um, not easy, I mean, because I think a lot of us would be familiar with the, the, the word card sharp or the expression card sharp for somebody who cheats, but maybe not with the, the word sharper in the same sense. Um, but if you did come up with cheat, well done, and you would have, oh, sugar, <laughs> you would have, um, you would have seen this word appear and you probably still would not have known what was going on i i filled this in with trepidation um and thought i was looking at some character i couldn't remember from macbeth who, ha who had a knife at some point probably killed somebody um no this is about mac the knife um who some of us will be familiar with from from the song um and his 
His surname is mentioned in the lyrics of the song. Uh, his surname was McKeith. I think he seems to be a character that you know comes from old literature, um, but uh, not someone I knew. Whether it's fair to ask somebody to know the surname of Mac the Knife, we can all um, we can all wonder about. But uh, a very interesting puzzle today. So much. Uh, uh, so much new knowledge, you know, we've got McKeith crossing How Goes the Enemy, crossing Brown Study and Hieratic as well. So, um, you know, lots of new stuff. Very interesting puzzle. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope, um, you know, I hope you weren't put off by how obscure some of this stuff was. It's not, um, it's not that usual that you get, certainly one across I thought was mean, sharper for cheat in the wordplay to give this word, this name, I think is, is brutal. Um, so with that, we'll see you again tomorrow. And thanks very much for watching. Just a jackknife has old Maggie Heath, baby. And it keeps it uh, out of sight.